The land-based rigs in Canada are uh, largely focused in Western Canada, with the majority of those being in Alberta, probably to the tune of 85 to 90 percent. Uh, the the rigs uh, are utilized based on depth capacity and size, and that's how you decide how big a rig you want in Canada. And and our company is focused in the shallow market, which is the shallow gas market, and also for uh, our coal bed methane, which is really becoming a big part of the play here in Western Canada, particularly in Alberta. The other significant factor that's occurred is the shallow, the very shallow stuff, which is the coal bed methane gas, which was only three years ago or four years ago, we only drilled about a thousand of those wells. Now we're drilling upwards to four to five thousand of those wells. It eliminates a bunch of other equipment on the floor, like as in our manual tongs and a Kelly and a bunch of other different equipment on the floor that we've eliminated and then actually as well keeps our uh, you know our pinch points and hazards and stuff down on the floor eh? like uh, it reduces our accidents uh, stuff like that you know also downhole more effective downhole steady hydraulic pressure on a top drive motor gives you more you know more of a steady torque versus a conventional type eh? When I first started working with Cardinal, they had a hydraulic winch on the other one, and it's a little different than this. This one is so quiet compared to it, and the speeds are... A normal service rig, you have to wait for gravity for the blocks to start coming in effect for them to come down. This is hydraulic. It's the same speed up and down. It doesn't matter how heavy or how light your string is, and it just makes it so... It's, it is a lot faster, and we get a lot more jobs because of this. So we come in and we'll do jobs that big rigs could do, but it'd take them six hours. We can do it in an hour, hour and a half.
And I like it because running that mud pump, well, it's running them. If it starts to pressure up while I'm pumping fluid down hole, it lets you know. The hydraulics will give you a sound. Yeah. Where sometimes on a gear driven, you won't hear it and you can overpressure things. Right. That hydraulic will let you know. This application, I usually start out, you usually pressure up your line first, so you use a low, and then as you start going down a well, you start out in a higher. It's got 10 different selections for the speed. So you can start higher, and as you pressure up, you can slowly bring it down to a lower, lower speed, so it's hardly turning the mud pump at all, and you can bring it up to higher pressures if you are pressure testing and stuff. Smooth.